What up, though? I said, what up, good folks? I said, what up, good people? Yes, indeed. Today, we will be reviewing these three. Supposed to be four. But these three, I'll get into that later. These three by, uh, well, this is funny because the titles have changed, right? So this is DC Deceased, yes. DC Deceased. And this is also um, by, as you can see, the box says DC Direct, <laughs> right? Um, DC Direct took over for DC Collectibles. And then since then, McFarlane took over after DC Direct and DC Collectibles. So he is the only DC retailer that's putting out stuff. So I guess uh, he... He decided he wanted to put these out since he got the license and he got the master license. So he's the man. You know, these were just I basically sitting in a warehouse and um, these were sitting in the warehouse. And McFarlane said, no, nah, they don't need to be sitting in the warehouse. We need to put them out. So that's exactly what he did. And now we are here. I ordered these off of Amazon. And here's the thing, guys. I ordered all of these off of Amazon. That means I ordered Supergirl, Flash, Superman, and Harley Quinn. And for some reason, Amazon freaking uh, delayed my Supergirl. And then it looked like it was canceled. So I got in contact with my friend T-Man. Um, and T-Man978, I was like, hey, look, bro. Because uh, I know he has an Amazon store. I was like, are you able to find... Um, DC deceased Supergirl so he checked and he found it for me and he sent me the link it was actually the last one and it's used but I don't care because these figures are um, 29 bucks these figures are 29 bucks all of these figures are 29 bucks but since the one the link he sent me was a used one that means <laughs> she was 22 so it says new used uh, box may be in box may be damaged um, but that's that doesn't bother me at all if the box is damaged or not you know as long as the figure is all right I won't I won't I won't send it back but all right I've showed you all the boxes I showed you what it looked like let's bust these bad folks out and see what they really about the Bushka. this is how Zombie Flash, Zombie Harley, and Zombie Superman look fresh and straight out of the box. And no, Harley does not, <laughs> excuse me, Harley does not come with a missing arm. Uh, as I was trying to get her into that pose that you see here, her arm broke clean from the bicep. From the bicep rotation yeah and i should have known better i'm trying to tell you i should have known better because one of my zombie batmans or deceased batmans his uh i believe his wrist um hinge broke off on me um uh, fresh straight out of package too so please learn from my mistakes and uh yeah Heat your figures up, especially these. These things have probably been sitting God knows how long, and they're, they're, they seem to be very brittle. All right, so uh, let's get this straight out of the way now. Um, for those who are not familiar with the deceased storyline of DC, deceased uh, happened, I want to say, three years ago. Um, I believe it's a six-part series. It's a very, very, very good series, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding you. This series is phenomenal. So I will tell you how it started. Um, so how it started was uh, Darkseid uh, wanted to get a hold of Cyborg because he, ha he has the missing pieces that, you know, he needed for the anti-life equation. At least he thought he did. And he injected him and uh, oh, I forgot his name that helped help Dark Side, but he they uh, injected Cyborg with the anti 
anti-life equation and you know cy cyborg is cybernetic so he's basically the internet he can tap any and everywhere where there's internet and that's exactly what they did they used his body and um they sent him back well they first they took him to apocalypse then they sent him back to uh metropolis and since the anti-life equation is is in him they uh by by way of internet so if you have a phone a computer any type of device um that can be used to find out information you were now infected with this anti-life equation right so now everybody we're in the age where everybody is on their phones now and everybody is um is looking for things on the internet so that's exactly how it happened i mean the next scene shows cyborg in the middle of the, of the metropolis and boom it's just zombie madness everywhere and every dc character is in this i feel like i've seen everybody in this deceased storyline it was like i said it was beautifully written the story is crazy good um a lot of heroes died a good amount a decent amount i'm not gonna say a good amount a decent amount lived but uh you really gonna have to read or look up the story for yourself because i don't want to spoil anything for you as far as within the story but i will i will give you this harley quinn did not die and harley quinn was not in the uniform you see here harley quinn had um her hair out and she had the blue and the red at the end of her two um pixie tails or whatever like that this uniform um is not accurate to the comic and or is she um, spoiler alert she did not die i'm sorry but um still all in all that's that's a small tidbit of something that is absolutely phenomenal so please check that out if you're a dc fan or you are interested in seeing why these figures why we have these figures now um, but first, uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's go over the articulation. Uh, first, Harley Quinn, since she's the only uh, female up here. So uh, her articulation goes as such. And she can look up a decent amount. Really good. She can look down a really good amount as well. She does get side to side. Well, a swivel. I should say you can 360. Um, not so much as a pivot, no pivot in that neck, um, but her arms do come up this far here, and she does get a nice no double Please joint. <laughs> she does get a nice double joint. We're keeping it real here, low battery. It is what it is. <laughs> this is a keeping it real review, baby. So, uh she does get that double joint which is nice she does get a hinge that's that allows her to hinge forward and back and she does get a swivel uh she doesn't have a butterfly joint but she does have a a bicep swivel and you can get a fair amount of tilt at her upper torso and she does have a rotation that can allow her to get 365 degrees around she does have a thigh cut which is cool and she has a double jointed knee which is also pretty good and you and her feet oh well before i go there she does have a boot swivel right even though her boots are down here so this will be a shin swivel and then she can hinge up she can hinge down and you can get a rocker there because she does have a forward facing pen so that that allows you to get a decent amount of rocker in there for sure um, now what's really cool is even though she has these boots on right she still can get a quite a bit of uh, of poses and she's not hard to stand so let's get a close-up on that face shall we and it is very gruesome very gruesome face as you can see she got the scars and see when they got infected with this anti-life equation everybody was the first thing everybody tries to do is scratch their own face out 
for some reason. They just like, they just want to scratch their own face out. Now here she does have scratches up on her on, on the top of her head. I wish they should have would have shown her hair coming out um, like they did the flash. Uh, I'll get the flash and I'll show you guys a little bit later. But she does have blood on her chest and right here on her uh, on her tassels that's coming off, and she does have blood in the back of those said tassels. And yeah, decent. It's 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 a decent um it's a decent showing again mine broke off which sucks for me but that's something that uh you know it it does suck but at the same time it kind of adds it kind of adds to the zombie effect now I tell you what have would have been cool you know what I, I'm not I shouldn't tell you guys I shouldn't but I will say this if Superman's arm would have broke off instead of Harley Quinn's arm. Um, I might have, uh, I might have been just fine with that. And I'm not going to tell you why. Maybe some of you, you guys are smart and know why. Maybe some of you guys read the story and know why. But I'm gonna just leave that right there. Um, so here we go. We're going to go over Flash real quick. So. Flash, like I said, Harley Quinn should have some hair poking out, but Flash definitely has another gruesome looking face here, which is cool. Look at that. So he, he got the blood on his chest, all on his uh, Flash symbol there on the back. You do have the, uh, the maid where it's made at and whatnot. The stamp is on the back of the leg. Of course, they would have had that a little bit better. Could have probably put it at the bottom of the boot. Also, uh, Harley Quinn, she does have pegs on the on the bottom or peg holes, I should say, peg holes on the bottom of her feet. But she doesn't have. Um, but Flash does not have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. But uh, so articulation in the in this this his. <laughs> His uh, man, what what am I gonna call this? His his <laughs> his things on the side of his mask. Uh, this is is a little bent. I don't know if it's supposed to be bent or you know they did it like that. I don't even remember if it was bent like that in the story. But let me tell you, when Flash got infected, that was that was serious. The Flash is the last person that you want to get affected, right? I mean, other than Superman, but seriously, F Flash. An infected Flash? Come on now. Like, he runs at the, faster than the speed of light. So when he got infected, come on now. Like I said, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but whew! They went through it when Flash got infected. I mean, infected. Sheesh. All right, so articulation-wise, his head, and for the sake of me not wanting to force it, maybe after I heat it up, it can come. it can come back because, as you can see, there is a hinge there. So I did not heat these figures up um, at all. And I'm not going to force it. But I, I do believe he can he can look back some um, some more. Maybe as far as Harley. Uh, he does get a rotation here. He does get a rotation. And he doesn't really get that much tilt at all. Uh, he can look. Man, that head is super stiff. He can look down a little bit. Um, like I said, he probably can look more down than that but gotta heat these things up we're gonna take a break here in a second um when we get to the scale and size comparison uh he does have a double jointed double jointed elbow here and he does also have a body swivel and you can rotate that arm 360 degrees and he does have a hinge there that's cool and you can rotate that um that wrist he does crunch forward and he can crunch back a pretty decent amount. And he does have a swivel at the waist. Legs can kick out. And he can just about do the full splits. I don't think I showed that on Harley, but she can do the same. Um, thigh cut. Double jointed knees, which works pretty good. Uh, he does have a boot swivel up here. And he has this universal joint right here at the ankles. Um, so you can hinge up 
and you can hinge down and the way you position it you can also get a pivot there so i do not need to go over the articulation for superman because superman definitely has the very same articulation as the flash so that will be very redundant to just go over the same articulation because it's the same all right so we'll put flash back here uh for his he can stand decently enough you know what i mean for what he is i guess that's why superman and flash do not come with peg holes superman does come with this very stiff cape it is not pliable um with mcfarlane toys what we're getting now from him is pliable type of stuff dc direct uh basically had some stiff situations going on and we see why they're not um they're not still around look at i mean the, even the body is a little stiff it's not but they can get a crunch i will say that they can crunch forward mcfarlane is not giving the best crunch forward but um Again, went over articulation already. Let's just look at how gruesome this Superman looks, shall we? So, Superman looks very, very gruesome. Look at that. Look at that. You got the eyeball. One is bigger than the other. Again, like I said before, they try to scratch their own face off as soon as they get infected. So, that is... Uh, that's, it's wild, man. This is such a good story, man. I, I can't... I want to I want to tell so much of this story. Oh my goodness, like this the things that they went through and how they went through it. Oh. Was seriously wild, man. I'm telling you it was wild. I was so invested in this story, you know. I might just have to go back and and give it another read. I read it I, I think I read it about uh, 3 times already, but I may have to go back and read this bad boy again. It was so good. Like jeez. My man bats. Oh, my man bats. No. All right. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm a chill. I'm a chill. But uh, so what we're going to do next, we're going to go over size and scale um, and see what they do and do not scale with um, with your other DC figures and or other figures that you may or may not have in your collection. So uh, let's do that right about now all right so let's see how tall this deceased superman actually is and this guy is wow like he is right at seven inches right at seven inches so let's see what he scales with all right so to the left we have a marvel legends hercules and to the right, we do have a Red Robin. And uh, so Red Robin's from DC uh, Multiverse, the Mattel version. And a uh, little bit of inaccuracies as far as scale is concerned. But Hercules and Superman seem to be the same height. And here we go to the left. We have from DC Icons, Cyborg. And to the right... We have Superboy uh, from DCUC, and uh, yeah, Superboy looks at a, looks to be at a good scale. But that DC Icons, that was a smaller line. I, I believe they only scale within themselves. All right, and here he is next to a Marvel Legends Hulk, and by Hasbro GI Joe Zartan to the right. Uh, I believe Zartan is a true six inch there, and of course Hawk is. He's huge. And here is Flash. Now Flash and Superman, like I said before, they are the same mold, but just to scale this DC Direct with a actual McFarlane Toys Flash to the right, this is how they look, and McFarlane Toys Flash is taller than him. So. DC Direct has 7 inch, this is a 7 inch flash standing in front of you, so McFarlane Toys is, you know, probably 7 and 1 fourth. And then off to the left, we have, you know, the the Spawn, uh, the Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn in, in yellow. 
and he is also taller than the Flash so there we go with that and here we go from the same storyline we have Aquaman to the left deceased Aquaman to the left and deceased Hal Jordan Green Lantern to the right um, now like I said the, you know Hal and Flash they're the same buck Superman as well same buck um, Green Lantern seems to be his chest piece is different but I know the legs are the same um, but also Aquaman looks a little bit taller and again from the same storyline deceased Joker and deceased Batman uh, excuse me Joker he's a he's he has a different buck from any of the other heroes uh, or villains in this line uh, but we do have four more coming but uh, we'll talk about that in the closing and just for the sake of being thorough we have uh, DC icon Supergirl DC icons Batgirl and to the right we have uh, from Marvel Legends we have Tigra so yes uh, DC Direct uh, is scaled way bigger than DC icons but at the same time it is taller than Legends as well Legends females alright here it is so far damn near the whole deceased crew that we got so far from uh, DC Direct DC McFarlane however you want to damn call it <laughs> but you know minus Supergirl minus Supergirl this is where we're at my Supergirl should be here Thursday and I will put the Supergirl right here she, she you know Amazon is messing off my balance I will have her like floating like right there will probably look so vicious but all in all um, can I recommend this line to you <sighs> here we go I can recommend this line to you if you are a zombie fan if you like your figures zombified if you're a DC fan and you're a fan of the deceased story of course I can recommend now if you're just a casual person and you're just like mm, I'm not the biggest DC fan oh what you're talking about is it sounds interesting about how the way the storyline went and the deceased and you read I guarantee you one thing you read it you may want it that, that's how it's going to go this thing reads like a freaking movie like it's it's amazing um I want to I want to say Tom wrote this I forget his last name um, but he he's a fantastic writer for sure um, it should be popping up on the screen there but um, to have the whole line for me this 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 was important for me I will say that these figures do get brittle over time so with them getting brittle with the articulation not being totally Fabulous. I mean, it's it's good enough to, to get these poses that I gotten, uh, right? Um, but overall, everybody's story was freaking amazing. How they became to be deceased um, on a ship, <laughs> got him uh, in the alley, got him. Turned he she did not get got. This is this is false and untrue, but she did. Oh, I want to say it, but I ain't going to say it. Man, I want y'all to read it. I want y'all to read it and come back to this review and tell me how you liked it. That's that, that's what I want from y'all. Okay, uh, this one was this one was pretty good too. Uh, Bats Bats was pretty good too. Um, he uh, he didn't have prep time, and he got got. <laughs> Let's be one hundred. Uh, the Flash, uh, who he was he he was doing his thing up until when he got got um and it wasn't his fault he got got how it was his fault you know he looked at his phone he was on a camping trip with some other folks that i won't uh mention he lost his ring too huh boy you got you gonna have to check that out boy the, the person he was the two people that we was with they kicked his ass <laughs> they kicked his ass sea bass um let me see uh superman 
whew, we did not want him to turn because Superman was handling his business. He was about his business, but hey, he got got, and he got got by. Oh, I told you. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm, I'm terrible with the spoilers, but if you, it's three years, guys. It's three years. I, I, I'm I'm telling you some spoilers, but I'm not giving you all of them. But the way, the way Soup's turned because of how he had to stop this guy, the Flash, was crazy. Um, but anyway, they look great together. Um, overall, I got to give them a rating of 6.5. 6.5 out of 10, that's the, that's the rating I got to give them. Um, like I said, I can't allow the story to to motivate me into thinking these figures are just awesome they're, they're great the sculpts are great um the articulation the plastic feels a little a little kind of mm, not great <laughs> but overall um i'm happy with them and i'm going to continue the line remember guys we have four more coming four more coming we have um we have deathstroke coming we have nightwing coming uh, we have uh, Red Hood coming and we have one more coming why am I tripping off of this we have one more coming uh, what's the last one the last one should be popping on the screen right about now that's the last one coming and I will be getting those four um, Red Hood is supposed to get to me in May and the others the other three in June so you will see a review from me again and I'll have all of them at, at the end to show you guys what they all look like, all right? But like I always say, be patient with yourself, be patient with your hunts, and if you're patient enough, even an egg can and will grow legs. It's your boy, Plastic Addict. Collect what you love, love what you collect, and i see you next time. Plastic Addict, out -ta.